Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This look is a dark brown smoky eye. I'm also loving the little winged liner at the moment. Let's get started with it. First of all, I always prime my skin. I'm using the Hangover Primer from Too Faced. It smells like coconut and that's all they need to say to sell it to me. I love coconut. For foundation, I'm using one of my favorite foundations and I've also been loving the Paw Paw palette instead of finishing up with makeup halfway up my arm. Amazing way to mix products and obviously it's more hygienic. I've fallen in love with my foundation brush again. I love it to just apply the foundation, let it sit on the skin for a little bit and then blend it out with a beauty blender. Flawless finish, I tell ya. This concealer, oh, where do I start? Absolutely amazing coverage and finish. Again, just applying it with a small concealer brush and blending it out with a beauty blender. The satisfaction of a scratch. I usually use the Almond Becca foundation stick, but I'm keeping it to a little more on the natural side today with cappuccino. Just applying the product to my pore pore palette, then swirling my brush in it so it's evenly covered, and then I buff the cream into the hollows of my cheeks and the hairline. To set everything, I use a translucent powder. This has no color at all. To warm up the skin, just because it's not warm already, I'm using a bronzer just all over the contoured areas that we previously did. I've never really loved this powder by Ben Nye, but this is my first time using it in ages and I have to say I've changed my mind. I actually quite like it. Applying it with a damp beauty blender, really pressing it into the skin, um, it really makes it look flawless, i got to say. Just warning you guys, in the next few clips, my lighting makes me look like a cross between an Oompa Loompa and a Simpsons character, but I promise I don't really look like that, really. So, just priming those lids as you do, then applying a similar shade on the lid to help blend everything out. This top shade is going right into the upper crease. Then I'm concentrating this gorgeous milk chocolate colour in the actual crease. This colour looks amazing in the palette, but when you apply it, the glitter does not show up at all. Nonetheless, it's still a gorgeous smoky colour. To make it all blend, I just smoke out the darker brown colour in this palette. I was concentrating so hard, I put a dot where I didn't want a dot and the pain is excruciating. I just leave that there for a minute and remove it later with a cotton tip. So I'm loving a baby wing at the moment. I love how it just creates the most perfectly feminine cat eye. Because everything is quite matte at the moment, I apply a shimmer to the inner corner and it instantly makes the eye pop. Using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Ash Brown, I accidentally applied too much at the start because I mean, I never do that, right? Anyway, that's totally fine because I don't need to dip my brush in the product again. I just spread it out all over the brow and 
That's a tip guys, apply too much, just spread it out. Line the waterline with a black liner, this will further smoke out the eyes. Then applying that dark brown and buffing it out in the lower lash line. Apply mascara to the top and bottom lashes. For lashes today, I'm using You Complete Me from Velour. Gorgeous lashes, very natural looking. For blush, I love applying it with a fan brush. This, I feel, gives the most perfect amount of colour. Then I just flip it over for my highlight. Hitting the tops of the cheekbones and the tip of my nose. For lips, I absolutely love this combo. I use cashmere first as a base. Then I applied a very similar shade gloss from Sigma on top. I think it's called Hint. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. See you next time.